All right, well, we did these last week, and I was thinking I can do a lot to um, make them all meld better together, bring some of those colours into each other, and um, just make them better. This one here is quite nice, but this, what a mess. It doesn't look attractive at all. So I have to fix that. But I thought, well, all of them could stand something. Maybe not you, but maybe we can do some more on you. But, uh, so I just thought, well, let's play and see what we end up with. Grab myself a selection of needles, because I was thinking, if I want to end it off, I'll need a thicker one. So I've got a really big hole in that needle there. There. And some normal ones, because I'm always dropping them. So to end it off, I would just do a couple of stitches and pull it tight and then trim it. And then I know that it's not going to come undone then. There. I really like this one. And uh, But I was just sort of thinking, well, what, what can I do? What can I do to make them better? Some of them are a bit, you know. So experiment and we'll see what have I gotten out uh, one of the things I was looking at was um all you know there's all different crafts these are brads they're from scrapbooking and they're just like one of those fancy clips they've always got little pictures on them or something and uh, and you could just push it through and then anchor it by flattening those out so that's, that's something and that would make it pretty just to start with, isn't it? You could do that through there in the centre. Now, isn't that lovely? Um, yeah, but why I'm do while I'm doing that, I'm also thinking, well, what, what else? Maybe I could join something underneath, you know, a different layer of flower. So that's what I mean. I'll think of a few different things. We'll try a few different techniques and we'll see what we can come up with. So here I've dragged out some silk paper. You might have seen me make it in another video. I have this one here that's really thick. It's uh, quite orange on that side and it has all kinds of things embedded on this side. All different um, mohair curls and threads and things. And this one here is quite lacy. In it I've used bits of old lace and uh, well some scrim all kinds of things are in here but it's very delicate i'm just going to use the corner of it and cut out this vague kind of uh, flower shape there's a little bit of net in there as well but i it's coming off i'm just going to take it off so there it is now already i'm thinking what can i do here I'm going to use it behind one of my flowers. Uh, but I'm not going to stop with the silk paper yet. I've just taken another little corner and I'm just going to fold it in four like that. And I'm just going to cut some sort of more spiky leafed uh, flower shape. I'll do a half on the fold and a full petal there and another half on the other fold. And I'll get something flower shaped. That'll do. So yeah, I could pop that. I could do them both. Both together or separate on another flower. I'll just keep trying them around on different things and see what I, what I think. See, something can go behind this one here. We do have that little brad that can go through several layers. And that looks quite nice already, giving it a little bit of colour behind that. But what about this one? Maybe we can put it on that bit of uh, silk paper. Uh, maybe. I've actually found some few things to try. And, wow, I think this is sort of like a, a mesh ribbon. But I'm just giving it a bit of a tug and a pull and see uh, whether it could make a, a nicer shape. And I think layering these up 
somehow would be good. Now I've got a little bit of this sari silk left over from my last video and I'm going to just pop it there because it's got a bit of gold and a bit of uh, that orangey vermilion colour. Just put a pin in it for now. But look at them. Really nice. So on this one, what have I decided? Well, I do have some more of that mesh, kind of ribbon, metallic. This one's copper colored. But when I start to pull it, it actually tears. So I grab another piece, but rather than waste those torn bits, I'm just gonna pop them on top. That way they'll look more like a petally kind of a, a shape anyway, so that's okay. And uh, I could put that on top, or maybe this one. And, you know, and then have the brad. But I'll need to use a needle or something to make a bigger hole so it easily goes through. So that's what I did just then. I just used a big darning needle. But when I push those through and then open up um, the behind of the brad so that it keeps everything in place, anchors it. And I think that's, uh, that's pretty nice for the flower. That's certainly perked it up but we still have that thread you know I'll just do a little end off I can either go under the flower here or I can go through to the back and end off there so either way and snip there we go doesn't it look nice just that little bit extra so now we're going to start a different one I have this lovely doily that I've already cut into pieces. I've cut a nice flower out of it. It's tattered, uh, as in uh, tatting, which is a craft. But it looks really nice. I'm just ending off that uh, raffia, or at least I'm doing a couple of stitches on top of each other to anchor it. Then we'll end off. And... Uh, Let's grab some other yarn. Here's a nice silky orange. I'm going to use a few strands of this. Tie a knot in the bottom. Come up from underneath and do a few stitches. And it's really just to make sure that it's holding that lace down. My other one here, I'm sort of thinking, what, what is the final touch? Is it a button? Could the button be on this one? You know, I don't mind uh, changing things around a bit. This button is sort of curved, so I can have it flat or or um, the curved side up like a dome. But I've got this lovely orange thread and I'm up from underneath and I'm just doing some little stitches to just make sure that holds. And I've decided to use that white button here. And with that orange thread in there, holding it. It just should be uh, another little feature. There we go. So whilst I'm thinking about buttons, let's get this one done as well. I'm going to come up from the center here and hold that little bit of sari silk in and bunch it up a little bit more and, you know, go through a few times like that until I've got it manipulated the way I want it. I like all those frayed edges, you know, poking out, looking like they are stamens of a flower. And we can pop another button here. I'm going for a different tone this time. This one's sort of a tan kind of shiny color. But I'm going to use this same thread that I had on my needle and I'm going to go up and do a little cross here to hold that button on. And whilst we're there, let's try something else. Let's try some beads. I've got some nice big gold uh, seed beads. And I'm going to just thread it through. And so when I'm doing some of my stitches here, like a seed stitch or a long stitch or just any stitch there that's going to hold that down, sometimes before you put the needle back down to the back again, you could add in a bead. And that will hold your bead on and do a stitch. 
So that's a nice way to add a bit of sparkle to something. When you finish, go to the back and end off with that thread again. So I'm enjoying this process. We've got some lovely ones there in that same autumn kind of orangey, reddy, beige colours. But do you see how we used that um, turquoise thread on the orange flower on the left of the top there? Well, I'm thinking with this, I'm going to add in some turquoise colours. So at the moment, I ended, I instead of ending off, I tied these two really long bits that were left of this yarn at the back two knots and then I just used the uh, the leftovers and I did a little star shape on there a crisscrossing of those uh, of those little bits of uh, yarn I had left and now I'm going to just do a few stitches to in the center to hold it on it just adds another layer to this flower and once again yep just make sure we get some held in there so it's not all going to fall apart on us and i'm using this lovely turquoise uh well it's sort of a ribbon ribbon yarn but it's it's beautiful it's lustrous i think it's going to be just right and to bring in a little bit more blue you can see I'm adding a series of these nice little beads. They're not a seed bead, they're larger than that. And I have, you know, dark turquoise, a mid and a light. And I'm just hoping that that looks like the center of a flower and just adds that little bit of shine, a little bit extra. But I also have that lovely turquoise thread. It's going to look nice. But... Let's not stop just there. Let's add in a few French knots from this lovely turquoise yarn. And I come up from underneath and I will grab the thread there and I will wrap it around my needle, you know, three times or so, and then put the needle back in again, close to where I came up. And that creates this lovely little stitch called a French knot and that can be so beautiful. We'll do it again a few times here just so that you get the gist. It's so it can be three, it can be four, it can be five, however many times you want to wrap it around your needle will make a larger knot. But yeah I think those little little uh Little snippets of yarn we've put in the center just added to it and then that lovely uh, turquoise beading and I think it will go beautifully with our other flowers. So what next? We'll have a go at this lovely uh, bronzy coppery colored raffia flower. First a couple of little stitches just to anchor it off. I'm going to snip those off. Now what can we do to jazz this one up? I've got some more lace. Perhaps I could take a piece of that. Pop that on somehow. That gives it a nice center. Hmm. Or maybe, oh, we've still got that one, that nice goldy one. Ah, now how will we fix it? I'll just use a little bit more of that lovely turquoise coloured um, ribbon in the centre and then maybe some, some hand dyed silk ribbon around the outside. We'll see. So that's my last one. Haven't done anything with it yet. But I saw this on the sitting on the table from falling off something before falling off something before and I thought, okay, how about we put you know that on that? And then I looked this piece out. I thought it needed a bit more body, so I put that on top of that frayed bit of blue fabric. And even I could use Hessian. So 
Um, that was another idea, just layer things up and pop it on. Um, so I'll be playing with this one. I think I'll just, you know, sew it through the centre like I have done before, end these turquoisey threads off, and maybe we'll add a little finishing touch. Ah. One last thing, I was just looking at these. These little stamens. I think they use them in both. Well, for making flowers, hat making. It's a bit of sort of, um, I don't know, wiry cotton. They're stiff and you can, you know, bend them up. Anyway, I just thought, wouldn't it be fun to add a few in like that underneath? I'll bend it in the centre. Pop it in and make sure that I sew through that when I... See, that's quite nice. When I sew this on, I'm also sewing through them. So that seemed like a good idea. That'd be nice if they were a different colour, but that's what I had. So that's all good. Now I'm not wanting to keep using this um, this cotton, so I'm going to change to something thinner, and maybe we'll try a few sequins on this one. I've already looked them out, you see, they're such a lovely colour. Woo! So we'll try it. And uh, probably orange would be quite nice to bring in there because we don't. Don't have that, but they don't all have to be the same. There's elements, there's gold, you know, that make them all similar. If you wanted them in all in one project, you might want to make a hair slide or a brooch or to decorate uh, a nice hat or bag or something. Anyway, I think it's looking quite nice. I'm just going to add a few bits of, whoops, I've got a knot, a few bits of turquoise in there just to finish it off so a few stitches that radiate out from the center or a few seed stitches scattered around just manipulating sometimes those uh, the original daisy that we did on the daisy wheel there and uh, you know having it the way that you want it and then we'll finish off with those sequins Let's add a sequin in now. So many ways these can be added in. You can do a three stitches. You can do so that it lays flat. You do it like the spokes on a wheel. Shall we say it again? Spokes on a wheel. All right, so, or you can just do the one and have it sticking up on end. Or you can have one each side, depending what you like the look of. We'll do one on each side of this one. Or you could come up in the centre, put a bead in it, and then go back down again. The bead is large enough that it won't go through the hole, and it works quite well. So even though that stitching was a bit raggedy, we're managing to cover it up and make it a bit prettier. And You know, nothing was a reject, was it? Everything, everything was used. And I'm uh, quite happy to use scraps like this to make pretty things. That's better. A little bit of light on the situation never hurt. And you, so much prettier with the light. Mm. And you know... I think some of our ugly ducklings did turn out the best. So it can be as simple as sewing on a button, adding a bit of lace, or layering things up like here. You know, have a look and see what bits and pieces you have and use them up. What a lovely little project. And like I said, many uses for them, I can see. 
But they're fun, that's the main thing. Make yourself a fascinator for the races or something. Um, so that's it and I hope you've enjoyed it. We made some great, great flowers. A great, beautiful bunch of flowers. My name's Tracy and Art Fibre Stitch is my business. And if you've liked this video, don't forget to press like, subscribe if you haven't already, and we'll see you next time for something different. Thanks again.